I was kind of surprised today by how many people, when, when I started my interview with Rory, um, I asked the audience how many people had no idea what the Internet of Things was when they arrived today. And I guess they're mostly here for the networking drinks because very few people put their hands up and that surprised me. Welcome to Mini Click at the RTS. I'm Kate Russell. I've been reporting on technology since 1995. Voice control is here, it's in our living rooms, it's all around us and everything is listening to us. With more and more the discussion around brand and brand image, I mean television is a very visual medium. Sure. In the age of voice communications or voice interaction, what does your brand sound like? Good question. It's, it's, a, it's a question that is going to come up, I think, you know, across businesses is going to come up more yeah. and more. My computer is the only inanimate object in my life that I argue with, constantly. You know, I, 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 I shout at it, I scream at it, it lets me down, it connects me to the world, it gives me great joy. I constantly threaten to throw it out. Um, in fact, if, if, it, if it were a man, I probably would have married it and divorced it three times by now. So let's make this learning that we are different people, that we have different thoughts and ideas, and that not everybody's ideas are right or wrong. Perhaps there's grey areas in between. I think that should be the cornerstone of teaching young people about critical thinking. Now, I'm going to come to you next if you've got questions or comments, so make sure you're preparing yourself mentally for the shock of me asking you to contribute. Um, what I would like to ask you, Glenn, though, is one of the things that we've been talking about as we've been sort of talking offline about this is the whole idea of curating experiences for students. People want things to be individually tailored to them, be it products, be it, you know, a pair of trainers or, a, um, or a, a, an experience, a holiday. Um, can we use these technologies to actually give that mass customization experience to students to allow to bridge the gap between being a super teacher and actually you know, having the information and the facility to provide that personalized learning experience for students? Can virtual environments help with that? I remember my first uh, book that I read independently, Charlotte's Web. Um, you know, and as well as transporting me to a, a fantastical world, it also taught me an awful lot about, you know, the experiences that I was going to have as I was growing up, about friendship and about death, you know, and all of these really difficult topics which we have to deal with through life. And I began to learn them through my relationship with stories um, and books. So I'm really excited to expand a little more on the topics that we've already heard all of our wonderful speakers today talk about. You may have noticed me furiously scribbling notes throughout the day um, <laughs> which I'm going to try and organize into some closing thoughts for you today. Hello everybody welcome to the Kaspersky meet the augmented debate. So I am delighted to welcome our panel of guests our augmented guests and of course we have our Kaspersky people as well who are not augmented uh, but let's start by introducing you to all of them together. Hello and welcome to the 2020 edition of Kaspersky Next. We have so much to talk about today. I am delighted to be here with you as we explore some of the biggest issues looking ahead to the future of cybersecurity, IT and technology. I was invited to do a keynote address at the Women in Cybersecurity uh, networking event uh, with InfoSecurity magazine. But it was really just sharing sort of like some of my thoughts about how we can get more young girls interested in working in technology, some of the obstacles that um, perhaps women will face when they go into the workforce when they're looking at working in uh, male dominated environments. Still one more day of the conference to go. If you're thinking about coming down here, I would say stop thinking, get your comfortable walking shoes on <laughs> and get yourself down here to uh, meet some of the uh, industry professionals who will be able to talk to you about what your company might need in the years ahead.